It's leg day. It's leg day. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. I'm going to do a little workout. This is my little comeback to YouTube. So here we go. What's up, YouTube? All right, so it is leg day today. Figured I would bring you guys with me. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be doing YouTube again. You know, honestly, I took like, what, a four-year break? Uh, kind of was a little inconsistent with Instagram as well. But uh, just doing a lot of healing, a lot of self-reflection, and um, just a lot of processing and stuff. But, you know, now I'm ready to kind of come out with something that's, I guess, more of an authentic version of me. And so uh, we're going to start here. And we're going to you know, take you through this little leg workout. We're at Planet Fitness. And, uh, hey, no, no, it's a judgment-free zone, all right? Can't be judging, you know, uh, where I'm working out and stuff at, you know? You got you to gotta get it in wherever you're at, all right? No matter what, no excuses. So, let's get it. Personally, on my leg days, I like to get my cardio in first. Just kind of get warmed up, draw some blood to the legs. Um, and honestly, with it being like winter time and it's cold outside, you definitely want to, you know, get your body temperature up first before you go into doing like a big muscle group like legs. Just because you want to make sure that you're minimizing your chances of getting injured or whatnot. So I'll do about 15 minutes on the stairs and then we'll get started. Hey, look who's joining me. <laughs> it's Holly. Yo, I think she's actually filming her workout today too, so. Make sure that you go uh, subscribe, you know, to her YouTube channel as well. She has a lot of cool content. She's more consistent than I am, but you know, we getting there, right? But anyways, um, she's trying the legs today too, so it'd be a good perspective to check out. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to jump in um, with Holly for the first few exercises that she does. Um, just because uh, we train very similar, and so uh, we really like to focus on warming up at the beginning of our workouts, uh, just making sure, like I said, that we don't injure ourselves. So what she's doing here is she's actually going to start off with uh, kind of warming up her glutes. And the glutes is just a major muscle group that, you know, obviously needs to be warmed up just to make sure that you're getting proper blood flow to it. And so when you're actually doing your compound movements like squats, etc., cetera, those glutes are fired up and then uh, you're, you're making sure that you can keep your technique. You guys gotta make sure that you uh, use a proper weight too. Choose weight to challenge you. Don't sleep on that stuff. All right, so what you guys are gonna notice is um, we're starting off by warming up our glutes. I'm gonna sort of jump in with Holly uh, because you know we like to train the same. And so we're just gonna be doing some, uh, just a few exercises together. Um, and then I'll kind of branch off and do my own thing. But uh, warm ups are really important, especially if you wanna, like I said before, make sure that you don't get injured. And so we're doing the glutes. <laughs> and then uh, after we go here, We'll probably go and do some some more uh, like compound movement stuff. Okay guys, so obviously I'm on the leg extension machine. And uh, what I like to purposely like focus on when I'm doing leg extension is doing more like single leg, right? We'll go to a certain number, and then we'll go to the other leg. What we're doing is kind of shooting for um, probably around like eight to 12 
you can go high as 15 if you want to. Um, like once again, this is just kind of like pre-activation just to get some blood flow to the quads. And then after you finish out with that second leg, you're gonna do both legs at the same time. All right, here we go. Um, notice how she doesn't have any weight on the bar. Um, obviously, we're just focusing on like our technique first, you know, so we can know like what positions we want to get into, right? And then we'll start loading up the bar. Um, once again, you know, you always want to start off your workouts with your compound movements, your strength movements, uh, just so you can make sure, you know, that, uh, you know, you're not taxing your body with, you know, the like accessory work, maintenance work, and then trying to go to your compound movements. So she's gonna put some 25s on. She's gonna start there. I'm gonna get my set in. And then uh, I'll probably show you guys my top set. All right, so this is gonna be my top set. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot on the Smith machine. Smith machine is just kind of awkward, uh, you know, cause it's a fixed position. It's just going straight up and down. Um, and it also obviously takes out your core stability. So what I'm gonna do, finish out with, uh, I don't even know if it's 315. Normally it'd be 315 if this bar was 45 pounds, but it's not. So um, probably just do a few reps, maybe nice and controlled, uh, do anywhere from maybe six to eight reps. And then I might do a burnout, we'll see. But I'll show you guys what's up. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking about doing a uh, kind of run the rack type of situation where you start off, like I probably start with 55s, come all the way down to the 75, and basically I'm gonna do some front squats, but uh, that's just something that I like to do. Um, it's kind of like a little mini challenge, but uh, basically all you're gonna do is, you know, do like a progression, like a pyramid. Um, if you do a pyramid, obviously when you get to your top set, you're gonna have to come down, so. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, and something else you guys can do uh, when you're doing a dumbbell front squat is you can put like a plate um, on the ground and then elevate your heels. It's just gonna bring, um, excuse me, it's gonna stimulate your quads a little bit more because of that elevation. Uh, so obviously you wanna make sure that you're keeping your core engaged, your chest up, and then you're driving through the heels, right, in your forefoot. So I think obviously you're gonna contract the glutes, a little bit of hip extension, all right? What's up guys, you see me? You see me right there? <laughs> Anyways, um, now we're gonna be doing some single leg leg press, kind of getting to the closing point, like just finishing up. 
but I like to do single leg movements and stuff just because you know it, it kind of helps you work on those muscle and the strength and balances so it's gonna kind of keep it simple here obviously pick weights that challenge you and you're just aiming for a little bit higher reps so you're gonna go like maybe 8 to 15 all right so um, what I'm gonna end with is uh, doing a little bit of hamstrings uh, I'm probably just gonna get some kettlebells or some dumbbells and uh, do like a little RDL um, the way that I train, at least my current split right now, is push, pull, legs, um, and then I'll take an off day or, you know, maybe do something like arms or something, something that, you know, doesn't tax my body as much. Uh, so, usually on my posterior chain day is when I do a lot more hamstrings um, because I do like to keep uh, leg days quad focused. Um, but then sometimes I mix it up and I'll do some, you know, hamstrings and stuff like that, you know, in, in my leg day as well. So, uh, I'm, I might show you guys a couple of exercises, uh, but then uh, we'll finish off with that. We'll do some stretching, maybe some foam rolling, because you want to keep that for after your workout. Um, that's basically telling your muscles and body to relax. So uh, when you do that stuff before you train, um, it can actually hinder your activity and uh, your strength a lot. So just a little tip and trick for you, for the, you know, moving forward for the future. This is my favorite slash least favorite part about training. But you gotta make time for it because it's important. Like I said, uh, we don't wanna get injured, but we also don't wanna be so stiff and tight that, you know, we can't move, put shirts on and stuff, you know what I mean? But anyways, just in a foam roll, um, try to get your, your back, your legs, and uh, do about two minutes. I'd probably say per body part, so like two minutes on your back, two minutes on each leg. Um, that's what it takes to really change muscle tissue, so yeah, just focus on that. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude my leg day and uh, return to YouTube. Um, something else that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention is Holly and I started a, uh, a YouTube. <laughs> we started a podcast, right, um, where we're just getting really vulnerable with you guys, really transparent, um, talking about a lot of our struggles. As far as like relationships go as far as like you know healing past trauma triggers we have a couple of different things on there and we plan on doing at least one um uh video a week so um how can kind of explain a little bit about like you know why she wanted to kind of start this um and what better time right to be able to kind of bring people together and really help heal everyone as a whole yeah i feel like the main reason why we started this was um, for the past few years, both me and Austin have been doing a lot of work on ourselves, like, you know, personal growth, a lot of healing and shadow work even. So what we wanted to do is really bring that to the light. We want to share a lot with you guys and be more transparent and authentic with the things that we've learned, how we've grown as a couple and as individuals. And hopefully we can help you guys through maybe some struggles that you may be going through. I know that this is a very challenging time for most people in the world and so why not be you know of service to you guys and show you guys the ways that we have been able to make it through a lot of challenges through our own lives and there's just a really 
there's a lot of information in this podcast and in all of the podcasts that we've been doing, a lot of tips, a lot of um, just key points and just great like nuggets of information that are very, very educational and inspiring for you guys. So hopefully that will help you out. And that's kind of the main intention with our podcast. All right, guys, so clearly you guys see that, you know, she's super, super wise, um, very, very smart girl. She's helped me a lot in a lot of my healing, a lot of my, oh, my goodness. Uh, I used to be a little crazy kid. Um, but it just comes to show you that, you know, instead of focusing on the negatives and, and the things that might be happening to you, see everything as a learning experience, right? Because that's ultimately what we're here to do is, is, is learn and grow. And there's different lessons and stuff that we have to learn um, in order to just become a better version of ourselves. So um, if you guys didn't, you know, follow, you know, uh, and everything like that before, I'm gonna leave her stuff, her information right here. Um, that way you guys can go check her channel out and stuff. She's also on Instagram. Um, and, uh, you know, she's, she's, I think she's gonna be writing a book or something soon too. So uh, that's, that's super exciting. <laughs> so more content to come. Um, thank you guys for joining in. And, uh, you know, obviously make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell notification and stuff like that so you know what I'm posting because I'm about to be putting out a lot more content. Like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, this is just a, a way for me to showcase who I am, kind of documentation, but this is gonna be a different type of version, a different type of approach, right? Um, just showing, you know, full transparency, full authenticity. I cannot talk, I need some glucose, um, but, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be fun, um, and it also is gonna get me, you know, to get out the house and start doing a lot more things. Um, so I, you guys, you know, can obviously see something different instead of me going to the gym every day. But uh, we're out for now, so I'll holla at y'all, and uh, yeah, happy eating or something or whatever.